Jeg kan bare fordi jeg blir den første kunstpolitiske fangen i hele Europa. Det er jo ikke så verst da. Han, Gar Støre, sendte jo festtelegram til Way Way. Han satt inne i tre uker og kom ut og var en fri mann. Han fikk da tross alt fra Gar Støre, som er utenriksminister, et hyldningstelegram tre dager før de erklærte at jeg skulle... In the current issue of American Artist magazine, there's an article about Odd Nerdrum. It seems a common misconception about the Nerdrum affair is that Odd Nerdrum didn't pay his taxes. Oh, well, he paid his taxes. This was clearly described in the court transcript. Well, then what was the charge? Well, the charge was rather ambiguous. It was a uh, gross tax fraud, which is that they claim that Nerdrum intentionally hid money uh, from the Norwegian IRS. Of this, he is not guilty. In fact, one of the key pieces of evidence in the prosecution is a, a bank account at uh, Chase Manhattan Bank. And Nerdrum has never held, held a bank account in the United States whatsoever at any time, much less an account at this specific bank. And yet they sentenced him to two years in prison. Yes, they sentenced, sentenced Nerdrum to two years in prison uh, based on faulty evidence, evidence that they provided no proof of. And what's more, uh, they ignored a key piece of evidence in Nerdrum's defense, uh, which was um, a legal contract with his American gallery uh, describing the, the purpose and the contents of uh, a safety deposit box in Austria. And what was the purpose of the safety deposit box? Well, the purpose of the safety deposit box was against potential claims uh, from clients who were, were dissatisfied with his, his, his paintings that had been disintegrating. So it, he needed, and the gallery needed, money uh, placed in the safety deposit box so, so that they made sure they had something to give these, these clients. So not only did the court not provide evidence in their prosecution, they dismissed key evidence in Nerdrum's defense. Exactly. Exactly. It seems to me that they had concluded his guilt from the very beginning. There's a quote from the Norwegian uh, foreign, foreign minister that <clears throat> Norway urges Chinese authorities to explain the situation mm -hmm. about artist Ai Weiwei. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's interesting that, that Norway would, would say something to China that's mm -hmm. such a similar case as, uh, as one they have at home with, uh, with Odd Nerdrum. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, we're familiar with, uh, it's more familiar anyway, to hear about this kind of human rights violation in China. But when it happens in a country like Norway, in the Western world, in a mm -hmm. democracy, it makes one wonder where, where it can happen next. It's really surprising to me that in a free democracy like Norway, um, uh, a, a country that prides itself on its equal treatment of all people, that they would single out one individual and treat him unequally and treat him more harshly. The fact is there's no precedence for this case. Mm. And, you know, I don't know anything about Norwegian law, but I know in the United States, uh, faulty evidence alone is more than enough to, to dismiss a case such as this. Mm. And where is Odd Nerdrum now? I don't know. <laughs>